Hi guys, I'm back. <laughs> My name's Elizabeth Luke. I'm the owner of the Jacksonville Baby Company based out of Jacksonville, Florida. And this is video number two. In the first video, we talked about um, hurricane season and how to keep your baby safe, uh, breastfeeding and exclusively pumping milk for your baby, storing the milk, traveling with breast milk, things like that in the event of a natural disaster. So in this video, we're gonna talk about formula feeding and how to keep your baby as safe as possible. Uh, formula feeding through a storm or natural disaster. Um, the first thing I want to say is that you always want to make sure your hands are clean um, and that the bottles and nipples and pacifiers that you're using are clean. Uh, and by clean, you have to have access to clean water to be able to do those things. So in preparation for the hurricane or natural disaster, if you have an opportunity to prepare, I would recommend um, individually bagging um your bottles and your pacifiers in ziploc bags i'm not a big fan of plastic and ziploc and wastefulness but in more when we're talking about preparing for something like this i am a big fan of it because it could potentially save a life um keeping your baby um safe away from bacteria especially if you have a preemie or um, a baby with a compromised immune system things like that you really want to take all the precautions that you can um, infants and the elderly are, are especially vulnerable during natural disasters so um, the first choice for preparing formula should always be a ready-made formula ready to feed formula so stuff that you don't have to mix if you can have that um, if you have access to that or you can stock up on some of that that would be wonderful that's the best choice uh, because simply you don't have to have anything to mix it with it's already ready to go uh, the second option would be to use bottled water so access to clean bottled water to prepared powdered formula would be the second best option the third best option would be to boil the water the way that you would boil the water is number one you preferably would like to make sure whatever you're boiling it in is as clean as possible before you begin you put your water in the pot obviously and then you uh, bring it to a full rolling boil once it reaches a full boil you want to keep it boiling for an entire minute then kill the heat source and let it cool naturally do not put ice in the water at this point to cool it down faster whether your baby is extremely hungry and fussy and crying does not matter you have got to let the water cool down naturally so keep that in mind it is a, an important part of the sanitation process of the water so if you want that water purified you need to make sure you let it cool naturally be careful that the water is cooled enough when you prepare the formula that you do not burn the baby obviously um what else is gonna oh if your water is cloudy or if it is um if it has clearly has particles in it you definitely need to filter that before you boil it um coffee filters work good for that you can do that um i'm gonna say um boiling kills uh disease causing organisms but it doesn't um it doesn't get rid of any chemicals that are present in the water the next option that i want to talk about is the iodine capsules that is your last resort um if you know someone who is breastfeeding or has breast milk available that can get some to you or who is willing to nurse your baby or pump milk for your baby to drink that option would be much safer than to give the iodine capsules um if you can store bottles and nipples if you can't store bottles and nipples in the ziploc bags if you can put them into um, like rubber made or ziploc containers not the bags but containers that you have in preparation for you can stack a bunch of those in there but again if you can do them singly in ziploc bags that is the safest option uh, when you're preparing it always make sure your hands are clean so clean water potable water that you can you, know, you can drink with you want to use your to wash your hands with soap and water if you do not have access to that alcohol-based hand sanitizer hand sanitizer is the next best option um let me think if you are asked to evacuate um whether it's voluntary or mandatory we highly suggest that you do that we want to make sure that you and your babies are safe and um, we hope that this video was helpful to you. If you have more questions or concerns, please just drop the questions in the comment section. Feel free to reach out to us on Facebook um, at the Jacksonville Baby Company or you can email us. It's hello at jacksbabycompany.com 
or you can give us a call at 904-924-4182. We want to see your babies stay healthy and safe and all of you guys to stay safe as well through the storm. Bye-bye.